I am here with the lovely Heather B. from Ganja Vibes. Gather, Heather, how are you? I'm fantastic, having a really great time at the Cannabis Business Awards 2016. Woo. Yeah, I mean, you, I have to say, you are one of the more rock and roll badass kind of looks going on tonight. A lot of, you know, normally the cannabis industry is filled with uh, tattoos and tie dye and all that kind of stuff. Tonight's been a little, you know, a little upscale, a little less so, but you pull off both very well. Thank it's a nice so mixture much. of the elegant and the. I like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So tell us a little about your product, uh, the Mary Jane... Uh, Vibrator. Gun, yeah. yeah. I, I saw I looked at it and I lost my train of thought for a minute. <laughs> tell us about it, Heather. Well, Ganja Vibes, the brand, is combining sex and weed in its best form ever, in a toy form where even if you don't partake in ganja, you could still love the vibes. The Mary Jane Vibrator is the world's first cannabis leaf massager, and I actually have patented, patented it two times over in the United States as well as one in the United uh, European communities. So the Mary Jane Vibrator is a personal massager. It's great for all over the body use, powered by two AA batteries. And you could actually pop the egg out of it. It's a standard egg inside of a shell that looks like ganja, our love, our one and only. And because of Mother Nature and how amazing she is, it's you know just a wonder that this toy works so fantastically. Many, many toys um, are hard to please but this one because of so many contact points happens to do the trick every time and it's a great trainer for those uh, advanced tricks <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, I've heard about some of those advanced tricks. Uh, I may have even tried one or two of my own, but certainly nothing April with, with will that. April love it. <laughs> certainly nothing with and that. She's so. go and, hey, April, I love you, girl. <laughs> All right, so honey, <laughs> uh, let's clear our Saturday night. Uh, um, cool. Well, uh, that looks uh, pretty amazing. And you won an award for this tonight, did you not? Or were you actually? We were nominated twice. I was nominated for um, Ganja Vibes. Was nominated for most innovative product of 20. 16, but I think it was Gavita that won oh, the lights. Okay. And the industry spoke on that one. You know, he is a powerhouse. All of the people that were nominated tonight are just incredible. I'm a startup company that actually just launched this year, and I'm extremely, extremely grateful to be here. And, and it's just awesome to be representing because I'm from Houston, Texas. So in Houston, Texas, you know, we're really trying to legalize still everybody. So we got to break down walls and break down barriers and make things happen as best as we can, even if it means sneaking in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were building up to that one. It's a new one. I've actually never said that one before. <laughs> All right. Spontaneous. I'm inspired. All right. Well, we wish you luck. Look, you're Thank the new you. kid on the block this yeah. year. You got plenty. You, next year, you'll yeah. take it, you know. And yeah, we've got a couple other toys coming out, and the lifestyle brand lives. So we've been really blessed to have a lot of support from High Times, actually, from Rick Cusick at one point, and then all of you guys um, coming out to the events, meeting the industry. So grateful. You know, it's all of everybody that has built this industry and just built it up so that we could all succeed at the same time. So, you know, I appreciate you, Bobby Black, because you built so much. I actually retweeted, or I Instagram a cover of um, Yoda Soda, also known as Tara Patrick, which caused a stir online recently, and she really yeah. supports the product as well. You know, that was from 1980. Oh, my. No, the, oh, the Tara Patrick <laughs> cover. There's a whole big story behind the Tara yeah. Patrick cover. So we were, we were throwing a ganja goddess party in Vegas, so I rented out a one of the party suites at the Palms, and we set up an interview and photo shoot with Tara at the Palms, and we had her naked on a bed full of buds shooting photos for the centerfold. If we would have had those back then, we could have definitely gifted her one of those for sure. We may have a follow-up photo shoot with her. Who knows? She really has been so loving towards my brand, and I'm so grateful for that too, and I would love it if we could all come together again in the name of Ganja Vibes and legalization and cannabis. So who knows what the future holds? Well, me and Tara, we're good, man. We're good. Like, Tara, no, we, we party together, so uh, if that's going to go down, let me know. Maybe we'll do a little <laughs> story about it. Yeah. Sounds Sounds good to me, man. All right, well, thank you, Heather. I hope you have a wonderful uh, holiday season. Thank you, too. Take care. Thanks, Cannabis Business Awards 2016. Thank you, Chloe Bellano.